Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, December 2nd, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. 1962 number one hit that the BBC once deemed too morbid to play. <laughs> um, I don't know, is that the Monster Mash? That does fit. I think we had that on a puzzle a couple of weeks ago too. That's very interesting. Let's see if this is right. Toast opening. And this is wordplay. So I guess this is not the opening to a toast you might give at a wedding. Is it going to be about the letter T? Hmm. I'm not sure where the wordplay is here. Sense of loathing. Hmm. Maybe it's not monster mash. Swell, an equivalent phrase. Well, I guess that could be Nido, University in Central Florida. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna know this one. Completely after in. Is that in toto? I know I've heard that phrase before. Is that Latin? Actress Moriarty of the boys. I feel like we've seen this person a couple of times recently, and I still can't remember their name. It's not Emma, is it? That doesn't sound familiar. Something salted at a Mexican restaurant. That could be the rim of a margarita glass. Engineer astronaut Jemison. I'm pretty sure that's May Jemison. Something that's dropped after it's finished. Hmm. This feels like it's being kind of tricky, and that it's about something very specific. Hmm, it's not a hint, right? I don't think that makes sense. Cashless deal. That could be a swap if we're talking about bartering. Creator of TV's Fraggle Rock. That was Jim Henson. Yeah. Okay, so I think Monster Mash is definitely right at this point. Let's look at these other long acrosses. First person plural. And this is wordplay, so this is not talking about grammar. Is this about the first person as in Adam and Eve? Hmm. First person plural. I don't know, this doesn't really look like anything to me. It ends in we? Hmm, that's a little weird. Highest bar, another wordplay clue. Highest bar, so this is not the highest level of achievement you can attain. It's gotta be a literal bar somehow. Hmm, it almost feels like something is wrong in here. Frosty the snowman's nose, for one. Um, well he had a button nose, right? According to the song. And a corn cob pipe. Okay. Um, well, these all look pretty good. Maybe this is Aaron? That seems fairly likely. First person plural. Oh, is that the royal we? The royal we. Does that even fit? Um, no, it doesn't. Hmm. It seems like that's kind of what it's going for, though. It ends in we. Hmm. Is it some kind of other we? I wonder. I don't think MT here is very likely. Hmm. Toast opening. Is it an opening you put toast into? Man. This is very, very tricky. University, yeah. Hmm. Man. I wonder if we can get this. Maybe if we get the last two letters, like Chicago geographically. Hmm, well, it's on a lake. I don't know what they're talking about. Is it gonna start with up? Hmm, I don't know. They may be mild or minced. These could be oaths, yeah. A minced oath is kind of a stand-in for a stronger phrase, like Doggone it, or Jiminy Cricket. Okay. County with 17 of New Mexico's 25 highest peaks. Hmm. 
I don't think I'm going to know this one. Makes out in England. So this is not doing really well in England. This is about kissing in England. That's going to be snogs. Okay. Um, I wonder if this is Taos. I feel like I've heard of that before. Let's see if we can make that work. Is it upstate? Oh yeah, it kind of is at the top of Illinois, right? That would be upstate. Very nice, okay. Where some of vets were based. Hmm. Is this talking about combat veterans? Is this gonna be Nam for Vietnam? Does that help here? That's dropped after it's finished. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an album because the artist drops it when they're done making it. Wow, that is super tricky, but it's a perfect Friday clue, yeah. So what is this? Editorial we? Is that a thing? Editorial we, that would fit. And then maybe this is nifty instead of neato. Yeah, that was definitely holding us back, okay. So let's put in editorial we toast opening. Um, isn't there something called Melba toast? I know I've heard of that. I'm not sure what it is. This is going to be odium, a sense of loathing. That's a great word. And then a lifetime ban, highest bar. You're barring someone from entry. The most severe bar. That's really, really funny. Wow. These were some really good long wordplay answers. And what is this? University in Central Florida. Is there a university called Stetson? Amy's Meatless Food Brand, yeah. Is this an O? First indication. Hmm. Is it like an onset? I'm not sure about that. Swell. Oh my god, is this neato? That would be so funny. Validates with two. Is that going to be a tests to? That would make sense. Septet in a carol. Seven. Oh, is this going to be the 12 days of Christmas? Is it swans? Seven swans of swimming? I'm not sure if I remember that correctly, but let's try it. Talk smack about. Is that hate song? That's kind of a modern phrase. And then what is this? Last in a series. That could be the nth degree, the highest degree. Maybe this is Stetson. Comment made with eyes closed, perhaps. I can't watch. That's pretty cute. I can't watch, yeah, okay. Word with cap or cream. I guess that could be ice cap, ice cream. Place to deliver the goods? Hmm. It feels like this could be about a lot of different things. One's a long in the tooth. And this is more wordplay, so this is not just about people that are really old. Hmm. A long in the tooth. I would want it to be like a saber-toothed tiger or some other animal with really long teeth. Hmm. Shorthand at a coffee shop. Is that calf for caffeinated? Does something accidentally, perhaps. I wonder if that's just airs. Place to deliver the goods. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I wonder if it could be something like African elephants? Although, I don't know if tusks actually count as teeth. Hmm, I guess it could be something like that. Arrange, that could be sort. Okay, silly ones? Maybe that's loons? What if this was an L? Hmm, I don't know. Afro, long in the tooth. Are they talking about a comb? Is it going to be Afro picks? Those kind of have long teeth. Wow, that's a crazy wordplay clue. That was very, very tricky. 
Daredevil's helmet attachment, maybe. Um, I guess that could be a GoPro. They're not talking about the superhero Daredevil. Delta follows it. So maybe they're talking about Greek letters and not about airlines. Could this be Gamma? I'm not super great with Greek letters. Comfy bit of footwear. Yeah, that's going to be a mock or a moccasin. Monogram of 1964's Nobel Peace Laureate. I guess that's MLK. Things people pay not to see. That's going to be ads. Place to deliver the goods. Hmm. I still have no idea. It does almost look like it's going to be loons here. Shouldn't this be a cargo hold? There we go. Maybe this is goofs instead. And what is this? Steak option for a pescatarian? Well, I'm not a pescatarian, so I'm not gonna know this. Early happy hour start time. That's gotta be 4 p.m. That's pretty early, yeah. Soft drink brand that sounds like a kind of sock. That has to be knee high. Yeah, that's a very old soda brand. Georgia City with the Tubman Museum. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna know this one. Windows Portal. Is that MSN? Yeah, that's kind of the Microsoft homepage, right? All right. Um, yeah, I really don't know if I'm gonna know this city. Inclination to prioritize new events over historical ones. Hmm. I would really want this to be a recency bias. Ooh, that does fit too, that's great. What a camera emoji in an Instagram caption often signifies. I do not use Instagram, um, so I have no context for this. Oh boy, well it looks like it's gonna start with photo. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Flight abbreviated, or maybe flight abbreviation. If that's the case, it could be ETA. Negative connector. Maybe that's neither nor. Blank homo. That could be eke homo. Behold the man. Banks who coined the term smizing. That's Tyra Banks. I've actually heard that quote before. Lasting forever once. Hmm. What are they talking about here? Is this a Latin? Interesting. Maybe this is photo credit, if you're giving credit to the photographer of the photo you're posting. That's a nice thing to do, okay. They know what you're thinking. Hmm. They know what you're thinking. This looks a little weird to me. Oh, whoops, this is a typo. This should be an E. Does that help? Shouldn't that be mind readers? Oh, this is ETD instead of ETA. And this is mind readers. Very nice. I think I've heard of a make in Georgia. Let's go ahead and put that in. Blank parade. That's got to be the pride parade. We're about six months away from that. We're broadcasting. Don't interrupt. And this is a bracket clue. That means our answer needs to be nonverbal. Maybe it's going to be a sign that says on air. That would make sense. Exterminators targets. I guess that's just pests. And what do we have on the across here? Genre for black pink or red velvet. These are very colorful band names. I wonder if this is going to be K-pop. That would just be a guess, but I think it's a pretty good one. Lasting forever once. Oh, I think this is going to be Etern. This is just a very old-fashioned word for eternity. Okay. Locale for many a sunken boat. I guess that's going to be a lake bed. Maybe it's the lake bed of Lake Michigan near Chicago. Actress Smith of Why Did I Get Married? I've never heard of this. Is this a TV show or a film? Interesting. Oh, we have a CS. First network to broadcast a live session of the House of Representatives. Okay, well, that has to be C-SPAN. 
waves away. Is that shoes? Hmm. Don't tell me what happens yet, an equivalent phrase. No spoilers. Medical Research Org. That's gotta be the NIH. So this is Tasha, Tasha Smith. I don't think I've ever heard of her. Quench, that could be sate, as you would thirst. Short records for short. Hmm, short records. Oh, maybe they're talking about vinyl. That could be EPs, extended play records. Okay, I wonder if we can get these long downs. Unlikely comment from a sore loser. Well, it's gotta end in game, right? I would want it to be good game. Maybe it's great game. Yeah, that would not come from a sore loser. Guiding light. Shouldn't that be a pole star? Maybe it's the north star, there we go. And we have a map down here. What may come as a relief? And this is wordplay, so this is not about something you were worried about not happening. This is gonna be a relief map. That's very funny. Directional suffix. That's gotta be ERN, like Northern. Friend of Lumpy the Heffalump? <laughs> That's gotta be something to do with Winnie the Pooh because he dreamed about Heffalumps and Woozles. So I'm gonna guess this is Rue. And Supplements Supplier, that'll be GNC. So this'll be Cones, markers used in zigzag drills. That sounds right to me. All right, let's throw this C in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 28 minutes. Well, at least it was a lot faster than yesterday's puzzle. I really liked these stacks of long answers today. Look at these, these are so great. Monster Mash, Editorial Wii, and Lifetime Ban. And both of these had great wordplay clues. First person plural and highest bar. Man, both of those are really clever. I think my favorite wordplay clue of the puzzle though was one's long in the tooth for afro pigs. That was a very clever use of the word tooth. That was definitely not what I was expecting. I also liked these phrases in the center. I can't watch and no spoilers. All right, well, I thought that was a very enjoyable Friday puzzle. Of course, that could just be recency bias. But either way, I hope you enjoyed solving that one with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.